Good To Be True is one of those songs that we didn't write, but it made the record because the first time we heard it, we just loved the groove. It's so infectious and it's got a, a great message and it's something that everybody's probably experienced, you know, one of those things in your life when you think something is really great and it ends up not being so. But we uh, we get to show kind of our rocking side on Too Good To Be True. You know, Cheryl's rocking on the mando and I'm playing dobro and we have a lot of cool little harmony moments in that song. Too good to be true. How we got together was a very organic kind of natural process and you know we just took every day at, as what it had to offer us. Our belief is that we want to focus on today and we know the ultimate goal and we all are on the same page with that but today is what matters and just one step at a time gets you kind of where you want to go and we played in Arkansas for several years and um, we entered our song into an NSAI competition, Nashville Songwriters Association and a judge there was named Kai Fleming. She's an amazing historical female songwriter. And she just, for some reason, something in her said, I want to know more about this band. At her induction ceremony for the Nashville Songwriter Hall of Fame, she had us sing a five-song medley of her hits. And the president of Taylor Swift's record label, Scott Bruschetta, he was in the crowd that night and heard us and really fell in love with us, and we fell in love with him and signed a record deal the next day. Well, last year we started the year with Brad Paisley and then we, we ended up on the Reba tour and then ended the year with Lady Antebellum and we just kept saying 2011 was like the greatest year of touring for us. We couldn't have, you know, handpicked that any better for ourselves and we thought, well, 2012, it's not even going to come close, you know, and then a, a couple of months ago, uh, the Rascal Flats guys asked us to come out. It's been amazing. It's so much fun. They're just great guys and, and a lot of fun to learn from. They're just such talented people. Three days before the tour started, our, our full-length debut album came out, which has been really fun and we also have like a deluxe edition of it. It gives us three extra tracks, some, something we all produced and wrote ourselves and they're acoustic. So it's just a really fun moment to get to add some more songs because we've spent, you know, eight years writing for this album and trying to narrow it down from like hundreds of songs to like, oh, let's just choose a few to, you know, put out there. So it's really fun for us. And it seems like it's, you know, it seems like people are connecting to it, which is, is a big thing for us. 